Hey, today I'm going to be showing you my Hong Kong and Taiwan travel journal, or more specifically, travel journals. I didn't use a dedicated notebook for my Hong Kong and Taiwan trip, and I ended up running out of pages in my first notebook, so I made this tiny notebook insert myself to house the rest of my journaling about the Taiwan leg of my trip. Anyways, let's get started. I left Incheon Airport on January 14th and I arrived in Hong Kong the same day obviously, but I arrived pretty late at night and I spent my night exploring Tim Sa Choi, probably butchered that, and basically taking in the sights of the very beautiful Victoria Harbor. As you can see in the spread, I used a lot of post-its and I used this, I guess, scrapbook set that my friend Riza gave me and I used that as a background for the, I think, the right side of the spread and then I cut up an old pamphlet that came with my octopus card which is the transit card that you get in Hong Kong and that's what I put on the left side as the background. I also used a lot of ticket stubs here. I used my train ticket to get to Seoul Incheon and I also have my airplane ticket as well as a business card from the hostel that I stayed at. And overall the spread is pretty messy but I guess it kind of encapsulates the intensity of that day and how stressful it was to get to Hong Kong. On the 15th, I spent the day in central Hong Kong checking out the different tourist attractions like Man Mo Temple, the central and mid-levels escalators, and the Immaculate Conception Cathedral. I ate so much that day and it was actually my first time eating at a Michelin star restaurant. Yat Lok is one of the cheapest Michelin star restos and they're actually famous for roasted duck. Actually no, roasted goose. As someone who grew up watching the Food Network every day, this was such a dream come true. Like any other coffee addict, I also checked out a few independent coffee shops that day and I ended up loving the cupping room. As for the journaling elements on this spread, I used vintage papers that I got at a Korean market for the background and I tipped in my octopus card on the bottom of the left page. Since I didn't have as much memorabilia and business cards for this day, I ended up printing a few photos on my LG pocket printer. I wanted to emphasize all the food that I had that day, so I printed out a lot of food and coffee photos. I used minimal washi tapes on the spread, but I ended up using this luggage tag that I had, and I lined the edge of the right page, which ended up looking like a strip of washi tape. The next spread is split into two days. On the 16th, I made the trek to Lantau Island to check out the famous Tan Tan Buddha and Poland Monastery. Later in the evening, I visited Log On for the first time, and I finally got to check out the Manual Factory, which is a must-visit place for every stationery lover. I don't know why my intonation went a little bit off there. But anyways, on the 17th, I visited Mong Kok and the famous Sneaker Street. And you might not know this about me, but one of my biggest weaknesses, aside from stationery, are sneakers and shoes. I purchased a pair of Nike Flyknit Air Prestos that day and they're probably one of my favorite sneakers at the moment. As for the journaling elements on this spread, I cut up the brochure that I got for Lantau Island and I used the images on that brochure to add a few photos on the left page. I also tipped in the manual factory business card on the bottom of the left page to make some more room for journaling. Instead of scripting out the date or using a tearaway calendar sheet on the left page, I ended up taping my bus pass on the top left hand corner to act as my date marker. On the right page, I pasted a photo of my new shoes at the top of the page and I used my brush pen and watercolors to script out the word Mong Kok. I used a heap of washi tapes to add more interest on the page and I finished the page by adding a tearaway calendar sheet at the bottom of the page to indicate the date. On the 18th, I went on a little day trip to Macau. Macau is actually just a ferry ride away and it only took an hour to get there. I visited the Taipa Cultural Village in the north first and that's where many of the Portuguese colonial buildings are still intact. And after, I went down south to visit Coloane to check out the first Lord Stowe's Bakery to try their very, very, very famous egg tarts. Those were hands down the best egg tarts I've ever had. And it's honestly ruined all my egg tart experiences since then. My last stop of the day was to visit downtown and to check out the ruins of St. Paul. I've always wanted to visit these ruins and it was definitely one of the highlights of this day trip. If you're into history, architecture, and amazing food, please visit Macau. 
So this spread is pretty simple. I basically just use my ferry ticket, my Macau brochure, and a piece from the Lord's Doe's box that I got. And that's basically the basis for this whole spread. I just tore up the pamphlet and I used a lot of the photos in the pamphlet to add some more photos onto this spread as well as to indicate the places that I visited while I was in Macau. The next spread documents January 19th, my last full day in Hong Kong, and January 20th, which was the day that I arrived in Taipei, Taiwan. On the 19th, I visited Victoria Peak and just walked around the Soho and Central area one last time. On the 20th, I basically was just traveling and I spent the day chilling around the area of my guest house and I also had to do laundry that day. I was extremely tired from the past week of traveling and I basically just spent the night in. As for the journaling elements on this spread, I basically just used my peak tram ticket and a Bubba Gump shrimp sticker on the left page. As for the right page, I made a collage of all the transportation tickets that I accumulated that day as well as a business card from a resto that I ate at which I ended up cutting up. This spread is quite weird since the right and left pages don't quite match, but the overall spread still works and doesn't look that bad actually. On the 21st, I visited Taipei 101 which is the tallest building in Taipei, as well as the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. I had a great time at both places, but the best part of that day was the Xiaolong Baos that I had. Xiaolong Bao are basically soup dumplings and Taiwan's pretty famous for their soup dumplings, just like Shanghai. This spread is the most colorful one of the travel journal and it's my least favorite spread. I basically cut up a Taipei 101 brochure and taped the elements of the brochure on the left page. On the right page, I taped my ticket to enter Taipei 101 as well as the business card from that Xiaolong Bao place that I stumbled upon. To finish the spread, I put a little stamp of Mr. Chiang Kai-shek on the top of the right page to tie in my visit to his memorial site on this spread. The next spread spans two days, January 22nd and January 23rd. On the 22nd, I visited Longshan Temple and a whole bunch of other cultural sites that day. In the evening, I visited my first S-Light bookstore and basically entered stationery and washi tape heaven. On the 23rd, I visited Jufen Old Street, which is an amazing magical place filled with lanterns and great food. The village and bathhouse in Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away is actually inspired by Jufen. This was probably one of my favorite places that I visited during this Hong Kong and Taiwan trip. As for the journaling, I didn't use that many pieces of memorabilia because I didn't collect that many business cards and tickets that day, but I used a lot of photos and I did have this one movie ticket that I got on the 23rd because I watched La La Land that evening. It was a great movie. Since I ran out of space in my first notebook insert, I created this small 8 page journal insert using Rhodia dot paper and some thick cardstock to make the cover. I covered the first page of the insert with cutouts from various pamphlets as well as stamps from temples and markets that I visited. On the 24th, I visited the Songshan Creative and Culture Park. It's basically an amazing space filled with museums, art galleries, stationery shops, and all things related to the creative fields out there. And it was amazing. I spent most of the day there. And honestly, I spent so much money there because they had a lot of great stationery. And then in the evening, I went back to Jufen, which is crazy. I left around 6 p.m. and I got there around 8 p.m. and everything was closed, but all the lanterns were lit up and it was an amazing experience. It was pouring rain and I was soaked and my camera was soaked, but it's probably one of the best memories that I have of this trip. But enough with the rambling, uh, I should talk about what's on the spread. So basically, I use different postcards, business cards, pamphlets, and bags for this spread. So I didn't bring in any scrap paper or any new paper into the spread. I only used what I had. And I think it turned out pretty great. And to tie the whole spread together, I used my brush pen to add some really bold brush lettering to the spread. And probably have seen that I've used that technique in most of the spreads for this travel journal. On the 25th, I went on a little day trip to Shifen Old Street, which is similar to Jufen, but it's a little bit further and it's kind of like an old village. It's not super old, but they're basically famous for these train tracks that pass right through the village and a lot of people come to Shifen to release lanterns. So 
I actually released a lantern for myself and for my family and you're allowed to write four wishes on them I think and I chose a red lantern to keep it classic and it was probably I feel like I said that but this was also a really memorable experience and I had a great time here. Since my bus ticket or my train ticket rather was green or had some green elements in it I decided to create an all green spread and I tied in some photos that I took while I was at Shifen and those became the main elements of the spread. To tie it all together I used a few other bus tickets that I had as well as my brush letter pen to add the titles to the spread. The 26th was my last full day in Taipei and I dedicated this day to full-on stationary shopping. So I basically asked a whole bunch of people on Instagram to tell me a few places to check out and I tried my best to check out all those places. So I went to the Reaching Type Foundry, Tools to Live By, and Plain Stationery which is a very famous stationery shop was closed that day so I didn't get to go. And I also visited Modern Toilet which is a poop themed restaurant or a toilet themed restaurant and I saw Anthony Bourdain and another chef on Food Network before go there so I had to go and it was a super fun experience. This spread was a little bit tricky to create because I had so many business cards that I wanted to include in the spread but I had to omit a few because it just didn't fit and I also wanted to include the new stationery items that I purchased that day so I bought a whole bunch of letterpress stamps from the Reaching Type Foundry and I basically stamped them onto a post-it and that became I guess like the focal point of the right page and on the left page I just kept it simple and left the the business card for the modern toilet restaurant to do the talking and overall I really like this spread it's very bold and I like the pink background for the right page on January 27th I actually left Taiwan so this spread is very simple because all I did that day was just fly back home I had a connecting flight in Hong Kong and I made it back to Incheon very late at night and there was a little bit of drama because I actually don't live in Seoul so I missed my last train or bus or any type of transportation to get back to the area where I live so I had to book an impromptu hotel in Seoul to stay at for the night and I didn't eat anything. It was a very intense evening but I made, I guess I made do with what happened and I guess it was pretty fun staying at a random hotel but this spread reflects that it's just very simple and I'm just going to show you a few other pages in my journal basically I bombarded the last two pages with random scraps that I didn't get to fit into my um, spreads my earlier spreads so there's my Taiwan transit card my bus ticket back to my town this business card from a cool restaurant I ate at and I think the next page is basically the same Thing. Yeah, I just glued a whole bunch of other scraps that I had because I didn't want to throw them away and they still have some sort of meaning or they still tie back to my trip and I didn't want to just throw them away. But that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I know this is one of my longer videos but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to film more of these flip throughs in the future. Please let me know if you'd like to see more of these. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!